Okay, uh, next part we're going to model is the um, wheel and tire. Um, so uh, they look like this in, in real life, um, and then um, we're going to make something that looks like this in Inventor. So pretty, pretty close. Um, so let's do a new part, standard. Um, start a 2D sketch. I'm just going to fly through how to um, make a revolve um, for this uh, wheel. So in my eyes, it goes out, down. Um, actually, I think it goes all the way, all the way down. And then goes in, up, has this space for a shaft, and goes back in, and then goes up like that. Okay, um, we would want to measure these wheels. Um, these are the d dimensions um, that I can just get very quickly for this video. So the diameter is 30 millimeters. <coughs> So from there to there is the radius, so 30 millimeters divided by 2 and then into inches. Um, what else? The thickness is 9 millimeters, so that should be 9. Um, this, uh, let's see, oh, we know that this one for the shaft is 1.9 millimeters which is, uh, this is the radius we're dimensioning, so it would be 1.9 divided by 2, and then into inches. Um, I want to move this part. Um, I'm going to pick horizontal and move this one. Um, whoops. Move this corner so it's horizontal to the origin. Um, what else? Um, the other dimensions we'd probably have to measure, but... Um, I'll just kind of take my best guess to fully constrain the sketch. And we need one more dimension. Can you find it before me? Oh, it's got to be that um, position. I'm going to pick the vertical. Whoops, I keep, I keep picking the constraint with something already selected. It's getting mad at me. So with nothing selected, I hit escape to make sure. Hit the vertical. And then maybe I'll take this point and make that vertical to the origin. Uh, then we'll finish sketch, revolve the sketch. Um, this time we can use this um, line as the axis. We'll say OK. And um, there we have the basic shape. Now we're going to make some cutouts um, to get these uh, nice spokes in. Uh, so what we'll do is start a 2D sketch right on that face and I'm gonna make hmm, probably let's go with some arcs so I'm gonna make an arc like this and I'm gonna make another arc down here and then I'm gonna connect it with lines okay um, now we want to add some constraints, so maybe I'll make these two lines equal. And I'm going to make these uh, center points right above the origin. Okay. Um, now I have to tell it how much I want these arcs to be. So maybe a quarter of an inch uh, in um, radius. Maybe I make this one also the same. And then maybe I dimension this width here. To be, let's see what 0.15 looks like. That looks uh, pretty good. Now, I kind of want to move this down. How do I tell it to move it down? And I want these to be... Um, I want this to be sort of centered. Um, that doesn't really look centered. What we could do is um, make an angle between these two lines. 
So we can do that by selecting dimension and then just selecting the two lines. Let's make that 30 degrees. Um, okay, we still need three dimensions. It doesn't know how high uh, uh, above the x-axis, or the z-axis in this case. Um, so maybe we say from here to here is uh, 0.22, and then um, maybe we could dimension this center. Um, point is 0.1. Um, um, the last thing that we need to do is make it um, centered. Um, and how we could do that is we could draw another construction line. Um, just draw a line from here to here. Make that construction line. Oh, you have to select it and then hit construction. And then we can say it's vertical. And there we have it. Now it's fully constrained. And we can say finish sketch. Um, then we want to extrude it. We want to extrude it as a cut through the whole thing. Say OK. And now we want a pattern. Um, let's make a circular pattern. Select that feature. Select the rotation axis. Um, what we can do is just, we want just the center axis, so you can pick this um, cylindrical surface here. And we want five. And there we have that. Um, looks a little bit thin here. So we could always modify the sketch. Should we do that? Go back in here. Let's make this a little bit less, 0.1. That maybe looks a little bit better. You could modify it more um, if you want. OK, next thing we're going to do is make, um, is make it look like it has a tire. So we're going to use the split um, function. And so what we need for that is a, a circle. So we'll make a sketch. We'll make a circle. Maybe the tire goes up until about there. And really, I don't know what I opened here. Um, really, we should put in the dimension. So we should measure the diameter. Um, maybe it's at 1 inch. No, that's too small. 1.1. Um, finish sketch. Now we're going to say split. And first it's looking for this circle, this for the split tool. And then what faces do you want to split? Well, I want to split this one. I want to split that one. And I want to split that one. And say apply. And cancel. Now we have these as different faces, and we can make them different colors. So like we could select this one, and let's find like a good um, let's see what would be a good maybe we'll make it like a polished brushed and then this part whoops I have to hold down shift this part I want to make it look like the tire so we'll make that black. And there we have our wheel. Make sure to save it.